gonna go ahead and do my workout. Gaze, baby, gaze. <laughs> There's no gaze. Do not post it. Gaze, and this is the games that with them. Oh, good, good, good. I'm just, I have a long sleeve. I can't show my mouth. Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of J Bro. For any newcomers, my name is John Yu. I'm a Korean American, 28 years old, and this is a day in my life as a pediatric dental resident. It's my Saturday routine. Gonna try to keep it 100 transparent. Um, this may be the most unflattering angle, but I have 10 minutes to get ready, so I just put the camera on my toilet. One of the best things about being in the health profession You know, think about what you what you have to wear before you go to work It's either black or blue or light blue Oh, go ahead y'all that thing down to the floor I've been on the road so long forgot I had a home I'm out in Miami, a celebrity galore I got what I need, but I always want more Always going out, that's why they call me North North You could call me North, hey In a 911, pull off in a Porsche I ain't never lose your sleep on what these words say Just get my good side, make sure that shit 4K, yeah Baby, I've been serving L's like the weed A little tired today Saturdays are tough Even though I got up a little bit later on Saturdays It's a Saturday <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about about moonlighting. I choose to work on Saturdays. It's completely optional. I'm going not to the residency hospital right now, but to a private practice in Connecticut. Some came out, so I feel, uh, feel a little bit more awake. When you work outside of your residency during residency, that's called moonlighting. I'd say it's not very common because residency schedule as is is, is pretty demanding. So it's kind of a crazy schedule. I know one other person who's moonlighting right now. And she travels about an hour to Jersey. And we both agreed that moonlighting has been uh, an incredible experience. One. And two, a very nice side income. My main side income has always been uh, tutoring. And this past year, I've been tutoring, moonlighting, and doing residency. So sometimes I hit 100 hours of work. But I thought it would be a great opportunity. So I started moonlighting uh, last summer. I'm here almost every Saturday that I can manage. So I'm averaging three, sometimes even four Saturdays a month. I've really tested my limits of how productive or how efficient I could be. To be honest, looking back on the past now eight months or so that I've been moonlighting, it came at a tremendous sacrifice. Maybe four Saturdays a month is excessive. I feel good at the end of the day when I when I work this hard, but I feel like I could live my whole life just working with this kind of mindset. I'm sure some of you can relate. When you're on this like work grind mentality, you just think, oh, I can work a little bit more, I can work a little bit more. What's another day? And you feel proud of yourself, but what about everything else in your life? <laughs> you know? Just some thoughts. Just some thoughts. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to film a K-drama scene there. But this question of work-life balance it's one that I've been thinking about since my last video. And I think there's both a cultural and personality component to how I view it. I was raised by immigrant parents who instilled in me this intrinsic motivation to work hard. With hard work comes success. We all know that. And now that I'm getting older, that comes at the expense of spending time with friends, going on fun dates. I even spent my last vacation week working at this clinic. For a while, I thought I was doing the right thing. But with the death of two friends and a family member in the past year, 
I don't know anymore. There's just no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow. So yeah, just some deep thoughts from my morning drive. I'd like to hear what you guys think. That's the job! Morning! <laughs> What's up, gang? I'm vlogging today. I'm vlogging today. What up, Nancy? What's good? What's up? <laughs> very nearly, very nearly. Jose's been a naughty boy. Have I? Jose's oh been goodness. naughty. No toys for Jose. So I just get cold? You just get um, you get a cleaning. You get a cleaning? Yeah. Oh. Alright, so I know it's 7.45 in the morning. Nobody wants to be on camera because, you know, they just woke up. But, of course, but I Tati, just woke up. <laughs> Tati, she works out in the morning. Yeah. She works out during work. Yeah. She, Lunch. Because you, you're wrestling during, no, you're wrestling kids. Oh, yeah. You're right. And then after work. She's got her own kids. I do. So she's doing more wrestling. I do all the time. So, um, so Tati, what's your secret to staying motivated? Chicken! <laughs> Chicken! <laughs> let's go, let's go. Best answer of the day. That wasn't even scripted. <laughs> all right, we gotta go to the morning huddle now. Adios. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna have some ice cream there for your nose. You gotta tell me which flavor you want. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Chocolate! You like chocolate? Yeah! Is it like dark chocolate, white chocolate, or milk chocolate? No chocolate? Oh, you know your chocolate. I'm Peruvian. Peru? Yeah, I'm Peruvian. Dude, I, I live in Peru. You're kidding. We're in Urubamba. Urubamba? Yeah. I got out here for Germany. I met with my guy. It was a great day, great day, great way to start a day. Yeah, Good man, Dr. Jan, 100%. Wait, what's your, what's your uh, YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel, it's just on the construction, but my Instagram is Dan J. Picasso. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put that right up here. Yeah. Right there. there you go. Right. Jose, Jose was one of the first assistants I worked with here in this office. So efficient. This man is the definition of efficient. All right, thank, thank you. you. How many patients are we seeing today? Probably 100. 100 patients are walking in and out of Approximately, the yeah, I would say. Jose has mastered utilizing any little downtime that we, that we have, talking to the patients, educating the parents. My dad kind of taught me, you know, like whenever you have an opportunity to improve yourself, try to be more proactive. I've, I don't think I've ever seen you rest here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plug him into a wall, mm -hmm. recharges, and then he's like, Probably that Mexican blood in me. Inside. <laughs> you know, Dude, just Mexicans are the hardest working people in the world, man. <laughs> Since we're working with kids, obviously, yeah. you know, you want to keep that vibe. It helps, you know, to keep the environment, you know, the spirit very hot. They're very, very much influenced by influence. that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think we got someone. Hey, there you go. Excellent, buddy. You're finished. Can you keep breathing through your nose? I want you to breathe the rest of that ice cream head. And then you get to go. Well, right across the street is one of Connecticut's best shopping malls. It's actually really nice. I like it. It's nice. Dude. Yeah. I did pack my lunch, my, my meal prep today. Yeah. But um, it's not all the time that I get to work with Jose. Yeah, that's true. So we gotta eat together. Might as well. Yo, aren't you cold, dude? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I, would, I would give you my jacket. 
Yeah, but I don't want you to fall in love with me. <laughs> that aroma is so nice. <laughs> wow, what is this man smell? I know. Thank you, sir. Jose walking in, fully clothed in scrubs. No shame. There's some people staring at me. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Chicken now. I can never say no. Which one? Thank you. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. A little warm up before we go to the, yeah. the real deal. Gains o'clock, baby. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What? Oh, should we eat with him? I don't know. Actually, should we eat him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough protein on our plate. Yeah. I think he wants to get eaten. That constitutes as cannibalism if he ate with us. Ah, you're right. If he ate with us. Yeah. Jose, you're a smart man. Ah, uh, he ran away. Or he flew away. All right, let's eat here. We have to work through lunch, so yeah. we're lucky today we finished early. Yeah. That's why we're grabbing a feast right now. I'm so happy about that. Smooth day. Yeah, not a bad day at all. So we were just talking about how empty this mall is. It's a nice mall, but look how empty this food court is. It's a Saturday afternoon, 12 p.m. <laughs> yeah. We're the only ones eating here. The whole culture surrounding malls has pretty much changed. You know, everyone's just online like, shopping. Yeah. That's it. Kids don't know these days. We didn't. We didn't hang out on TikTok. We hung out at the mall. Mm -hmm. Malls, movie theaters, bowling alleys. That's what we used to do. Yeah. Remember arcades? Oh, arcades. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't like it when I went to arcades. She thought I'd become a game head. <laughs> Probably recruit some patients from here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh, I can feel that breeze. Let's see that chest though. Someone's been doing some bench presses. Oh yeah. Woo! Doing our diving workout in our. So we have. Finish for the day. Just doing some notes. And then heading home. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and do my workout. Gaze, baby. Gaze. <laughs> There's no gaze. Do not post any. This one? Why not? That's what? on silly. That's on silly. Gaze. This is the game that would um oh good, good, good. I'm just I have a long sleeve. I can't show my mom. You have a long sleeve because you don't want to scare the kids with all your games. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, exactly. No. Put in the hard work. Yeah. Gonna grab myself some protein shakes. Yeah. Me, I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> Not gonna work out today. <laughs> Alright, later, Jose. Alright, see you. Peace. Eat my protein bar. I think it's pretty good. Anyway, just finished. Gym closes at 7. Gotta eat now. Digest an hour and a half. Hit the gym. What I used to do was schedule my tutoring 30 minutes after my arrival. But I'm done with that life. If I tutor, I won't be able to lift, so. So Saturdays are pretty physically exhausting. But the nice part is, we still have kind of the rest of the day since we start and end early. 
So by the time I get home, it's about, say, 4.30. I hit the gym. Be finished with that by 6.30, 7. And then usually I'm downtown or running some errands. Spoke to Jason, get a J bro on his channel. We are doing a photo session tomorrow. We're doing a photo shoot because we're trying to launch some, uh, some dope gear, some dope merch. So stay tuned for that stuff. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you my daily routine on a Sunday. I actually already shot it uh, this past Sunday. But I thought it would make sense to shoot a Saturday routine and then show the Sunday routine. Uh, it should be a fun one. I was uh, at a job interview. Don't know if I'm gonna take it. But it was a good experience nonetheless. Uh, and then I ended up meeting Jason in the city, so you'll see him in the video as well. If you made it to this part of the video, again, you guys are the OG, the ones who stuck around till the end. Unless you skipped here. It doesn't, it doesn't count. Excited to go lift. Have a little bit of a weekend. For those of you who also work on weekends and, and work longer hours, I respect the grind. I respect the grind.